Hello, Internet! I am back for another vlog, which there was actually supposed to be one before this, but we're waiting on pictures so I can finish that one, but someday, hopefully not too long after prom, because that was two weeks ago, I will get a prom vlog up and to talk to you guys about today, cosplay! It's a little thing on all of us fangirls, fanboys love and love to talk about too. Now, I hate to be a little angry ranty again, but you know what? That's kind of me. I'm one of those people who loves ranting. Trust me, you can ask my friends. I really do actually do go on random rants during the day. Many. <sighs> but, okay. I've seen people get kind of hated on because they're women doing cosplays of men or you know screwing going male and binding their chest and whatnot because let's face it girls binding our chest it hurts um even if you do it properly it does hurt a bit unless you have you're lucky and have small chest and just going screw it i'm not gonna do them I'm not gonna go and try to make myself look like an actual man and do female version of this character. Or, you know, people who don't have the exact, you know, facial, sh facial, yeah, facial structure or body shape as the character they're cosplaying as. Why don't, please, please don't insult people when they do that. I mean, I've gotten in a bit of hate because two of my most common cosplays that I do, um, actually, sorry, three, is I actually do a male, or at least attempt as much, much as I can without money to get, like, chest binders or whatnot. Um, male Sherlock, BBC Sherlock, obviously, one, I'm a female, two, um, my cheekbones aren't well defined. I actually kind of have cheeks. So, you know, skin. A bit of a cheek. I do actually have high cheekbones, but they don't really show too much. They're, they're not like Benedict's where you could cut yourself if you slapped him. <laughs> um, I do a femcast. And you do with M. Spencer Reed. Uh, for those of you who don't know who those Cass and Spencer Reed are, Cass is from Supernatural. He's an angel of the Lord. Spencer Reed is a profiler on Criminal Minds. So, just so you may not know. I figured everyone knows who Sherlock is because the Sherlock fandom is known for being insane. Well, let's see. I don't like how people will you know, insult people about how they're cosplaying. It takes a lot of effort. Actually, in a way, it does take courage to actually put on the cosplay and bring it out into the public. And unless you're me, and your cosplay stuff also is your normal stuff, and you will accidentally go to school wearing a cast cosplay and not realizing it. Or Charlotte cosplay. Or, in the terms of my friend not realizing that Bruce Banner wears tan pants, not black dress pants. Apparently I cosplayed as Bruce Banner a few times. My tan pants are ruined. I can't actually do Bruce Banner anymore. Not yet. Maybe later. <laughs> and I don't like seeing people get hit on because they're not skinny enough or you know, like they don't have the right body shape, they don't look like the character very much, you know. Technically for me, I'm supposed to, if I want to do really, really good cosplays, well, one, I need to do, I actually need to learn how to apply makeup so I can actually make my face look like the characters. Um, I should get chest binders so I can be the male version. The actual, original male version of the character. I have to do all this stuff. I don't have money. I'm poor as hell. I mean, I think 
can't afford to really get, you know, a lot of stuff for cosplay. I'm lucky. That's why my cosplay stuff is mixed in with my normal stuff. My cast coat... <laughs> Sometimes I forget which side I'm on. You know, the tan coat you see right behind me bunched up. That's my normal coat. My Charlotte coat, which is right behind me. I switch between those in the winter. Um, currently, it's going to be the Charlotte coat until I fix the lining of the cast coat. Because the lining got badly messed up and we didn't realize it until after I bought it. Nah. Simple sewing thing. I mean, why insult people based on their body shape? I know people already get based, but don't. Don't. Cosplay is left for the person to do. It's their own interpretation. So if, you know, someone who isn't exactly skinny size zero, I mean, I'm not. I'm about a size eight or ten depending on the brand. Hell, last year when I made my prom dress, the freaking pattern made me do a size 14. That definitely made me feel good. Um, you know, doing the cosplay of someone who's, you know, size zero or double zero, which is ridiculous and in some cases could be unhealthy. I'm not saying, there's, there are people who are size zero who are very healthy. Or even double zero, I know some people like that in my school. But, you know, you should never tell the people, well, you're too fat to be, a, be cosplaying as them. No. You know what? If I see someone who's trying to cosplay a super skinny character and they do, do a decent job, I'm going to tell them I love the cosplay. You know why? Because congrats on them. Congrats. If you are a plus size cosplayer, because you are, sh you are great. You know, you are very courageous on doing that. You know, going on into society where there are might be fans of the show who tell you that plus size cosplaying should not be a thing. Because you know what? In my opinion, plus size cosplaying should be a thing because it's great. It's beautiful, and I love seeing fans, no matter what shape or size they are cosplaying because they love the stuff they love. So basically that's my rant about cosplay. Um, forewarning on the next video, it is going to be me presenting a project for social studies class, but I'm concluding it with the vlog stuff because it's an interesting topic as you will find out. So yeah, I'm doing it right. <laughs> Takes me a bit to do the smell you later bitches. <laughs>